YouTube video script, max 6,000 characters. Channel, Next Gen World. They said it couldn't fly. They said it couldn't land on water. But now, it's rewriting aviation history. Meet the Avic AG-600, the world's largest amphibious aircraft, and it just hit a jaw-dropping milestone that has left engineers, pilots, and global defense experts stunned. This is not just another airplane. The AG-600 is a game-changer, designed to dominate both air and water. Developed by China's state-owned aerospace giant AVC, the AG-600 is part aircraft, part seaborne beast, and it's built to carry out missions that no other aircraft can handle. Whether it's rescuing people during disasters, extinguishing massive forest fires, or conducting strategic military operations over the sea, this aircraft does it all. And now, with the successful completion of a key certification test, it's one step closer to full deployment. Let's talk numbers. The AG-600 measures an enormous 39.6 meters in length, with a wingspan of 38. 8 meters, roughly the size of a Boeing 737. But what makes it truly unique is that this beast can take off and land on both conventional runways and open water surfaces, thanks to its special hull design and high-powered engines. It's the only aircraft in the world that can scoop up 12 tons of water in just 20 seconds during firefighting missions and drop it precisely on target in remote or hard-to-reach areas. Recently, the AG-600 completed its full transition flight test between water and land, a milestone that confirms the aircraft's ability to operate in hybrid mission profiles. It was a complex procedure. The aircraft lifted off from a water body, soared through the sky, and touched down on a conventional runway. That seamless transition proved not only the strength of its design but also the precision engineering of its flight control systems. But what exactly makes the AG-600 so advanced? It features four WJ-6 turboprop engines, each capable of generating immense thrust needed to lift the aircraft from water. Its reinforced hull is shaped to cut through waves and allow stable floating even in rough seas. The avionics are state-of-the-art, combining digital flight control with next-generation navigation systems, enabling it to carry out search and rescue operations even in poor visibility or storm conditions. And here's something that's turning heads in the defense world. The AG-600 is more than just a civilian hero. It's built with modular capabilities that allow it to be equipped for military roles. Think maritime surveillance, anti-submarine warfare, and troop transport across disputed island chains. For countries with long coastlines or remote island territories, this aircraft is an unmatched strategic asset. The AG-600 is also a symbol of China's expanding aerospace ambitions. For decades, amphibious aircraft development was dominated by Japan's Shinmewa US-2 and Russia's Bereave B-200. But China has now entered the arena not just to compete, but to lead. The AG-600 represents Beijing's push to become a dominant force in specialized aviation fields. It's not just an aircraft, it's a message. This latest milestone brings the AG-600 closer to mass production. The successful water-to-land test is a required step before final airworthiness certification and frontline deployment. According to AVC, production-ready versions of the AG-600 will begin delivery to domestic users by 2026. Several countries in Southeast Asia have already shown interest in acquiring this aircraft for humanitarian and emergency operations, and defense analysts predict it will play a growing role in the South China Sea strategy. Imagine the possibilities. One aircraft that can rescue 50 people from a sinking ship, scoop water to fight wildfires in minutes, and patrol thousands of kilometers of coastline in a single mission. That's not the future. That's the AG-600, real, tested, and coming soon to global skies and seas. While critics initially dismissed the AG-600 as an overly ambitious project, these recent milestones prove otherwise. It's no longer a prototype or a concept, it's operational and it works. Its success also highlights China's rapid growth in high-tech aviation engineering. The AG-600 is domestically developed, right down to its propulsion systems and avionics, which means it's independent of foreign components or supply chains. Another point worth noting, the AG-600's amphibious versatility means it could also be a critical asset in climate-related emergencies. With more floods, wildfires, and storms affecting coastal regions worldwide, Aircraft that can react quickly and access hard-to-reach locations will be in growing demand. The AG-600 is ready for that role. At this moment, only a few such aircraft exist, and even fewer are in active service. 
that makes the AG600 a rare and powerful tool in global aviation. Its capabilities give it an edge not just in performance, but also in market potential. So what's next for this giant of the skies and seas? The next major phase is certification for mass deployment and actual missions. If all goes as planned, we may soon see the AG-600 in action during major natural disasters or featured in military drills off the coast of Asia. From a raw engineering standpoint, this is a masterpiece. From a global defense and humanitarian perspective, it's a revolution. And from a technological innovation angle, it signals that the next era of aviation will not just be about flying high, but also operating across diverse environments where versatility, endurance, and power matter most. That's the story of the Avic AG-600, the world's largest amphibious aircraft that's not only real, but now fully proving itself in the sky and on water. Stick with NextGen World for more powerful updates from the edge of technology, defense, and global innovation. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon, because the next generation is already here, and you're watching it unfold.